guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to part 34 of the 100 Baby Challenge. So, we aged up Miss Harper here. I had to go into criticism and uh, age her up that way. Now, it's saying that she doesn't have a trait, but she does. It did get randomized. Um, I'll just show you guys. Go to Modified Traits. So, she got the Equest... No, Star Quality Trait. So, she does have another trait. I don't know why it's not showing, but it is there. Um, we're going to actually move her out because Glitchy's in. So, she can go ahead and move out. I did give her her makeover, um, obviously, when I was in Criticism. So, it wasn't like showing you guys anything of her aging up. But I will zoom in and show you her. Um, not as pretty as I thought she'd be. But uh, she's not awful. She definitely looks a lot like her mom. But, uh, yeah, so that was Miss Harper. Um, everybody's kind of, like, waking up for the day. And we're going to move out Harper. Just kind of kick her out. Let her go and do her thing. She's actually the first Mega Bride that is moving out in this save. As I explained in the last part, how I restarted. So I'm going to skip until this is done. Because this takes a while. And then we'll be right back. So we are back, and Harper has gone ahead and moved out. So now we have James, Jordan, Zena, Rose, and Mary. I don't think I got those names right in that order. I know all the names are right except for the boys. And then obviously Avi is still here because she's the mom. But okay. We're just going to kind of hang out, do their own thing. Um, everybody should be getting up to go to school, and it is actually apparently Zena's birthday, so Zena won't be going to school today. So she's just gonna kinda hang out, watch some TV, cause then I can age her up. One, everybody else at school, which I don't know why, that's like my preferred way of doing it for this challenge. So, I don't know. We can go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and sell some of these things in Avia's inventory, like the photographs and stuff like that. Because half of them are from, okay, actually that's her prom photo. But, like, some of these things are, like, prom photos of Sims that no longer exist because they were in the old save. So I should probably just go ahead and get rid of them and plus it's some extra money. Okay. We've got a book that I can actually go ahead and put in our bookshelf over here. There we go. And we've got Harper's. And. Yeah, I don't know. I just. I don't like having all this stuff in the inventory. I think it's a little bit of a pain. So. No big deal. But okay. So I'm going to get Avia to come over here and get the clean laundry really quick. Uh, you need to wake up because you're going to be late for school. You're going to grab some food, which is great. And everybody else seems to be pretty good. The kids might not be getting some food for breakfast, but... Oh, well. We'll see. Yeah, so... Uh, free vacation, no. So, you're not going to end up getting any food. Uh, you're not going to school. Uh, you're eating your cereal. You don't get to use the toilet. Which is kind of sad, because that was one thing that you needed to do. But, um... No big deal. Uh, we don't have any mail, so... I don't really know what I want Avia to do for the, start, like the day. I don't know. Like, she's getting up there in age, and I'm just kind of at that point where I'm like... Alright, you can go ahead. Because, like, I get so bored of, like, elderly sims, like... Don't get me wrong, I love Avia, she's great, and as was Mallory, but like elderly sims, I just, I don't know. This guy hasn't taken a shower yet, is he stuck? Well, now he's in the shower, but he's going to be late for school. All of my kids are going to be late for school. Um, you're not going, so I don't know where you think you're going, but not to school. I can tell you that much. You can go ahead and watch some TV. Um, you're not cleaning up the dishes, you just need to leave. Okay. 
I don't want them to all to get grounded, although they're probably going to. That wouldn't surprise me any, like, they're most likely going to get grounded. Uh, James skipped school on a field trip day. I mean, he wasn't skipping school, he was going to the bathroom, but now he's just going to get in trouble. So, you know, that's a fun time. Is anybody else in trouble? From what I can see, no. Not late. Why did you go upstairs if he's just going to come down here to get scolded? Uh, apparently Jordan's on honor roll. And now she's going to go and sk <laughs> Are you kidding? Mary's probably at the school by now. Like, honestly, Mary's most likely there, is she? Yeah, she's literally on the school property. So I think I might just go ahead and reset Avia really quick. Um... Actually, no. Yeah, I'm going to do reset Avia. I was going to reset Melee, but then that would take Melee back to the home lot. So, we'll just reset Avia, and then you can go ahead and go to school. Um, Xena's not at school. Okay. Because we were going to go ahead and age up Miss Xena. So, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So, now Avia is standing outside. I'm not sure what she's doing, but for whatever reason, it's spawned her outside. I'm going to let her go and fill up the dog food. And then we can go ahead and age up the little Miss Xena here. I have a feeling she's going to be like super pretty. But we're going to go ahead and hop into buy mode and pick up a cake. Um. Alright. So I can't put the cake there because there's a plate in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and move the plate... I don't know, I'll just put it on the floor for right now, and then we can go ahead and put the cake onto this counter. Because it's the like, only one that I actually like using. So, And then we've got some spoiled spaghetti on the floor. So I'm going to get... Actually, we have a maid. He can do it. But alright, so we're going to go ahead and blow out the candles for Xena. see what this one looks like when she ages up and she's going through to be a doctor by the looks of her lifetime wish I forgot that I promised that because I was gonna say like I could maybe use Xena depending on when Rose and Mary age up since they are all A grades but uh I don't know maybe not just because she already has the lifetime wish so I feel like I kind of can't use her now but okay so she's gonna go ahead and age on up uh, James is meeting some people at school, which is great, because they don't, literally don't know anybody anymore. Um, I'm just hoping she's not glitched, and that she actually ages up. No, it looks like she's going to. Uh, research supermarket, sure. Okay, so yeah, Xena's not glitched. So I don't know if maybe that was just a Harper and Lena thing. I don't know. Uh, so she gets the born saleswoman trait because apparently she didn't do very good in school. Oh, she's a B. That's why. And that's okay. So she's aged up. I'm going to let the game just kind of register it. There we go. So from the looks of it, she's cute. Her outfit choice is a little bit different, but... We're going to go ahead and put away the cake that I guess the maid's going to help himself to as well. I mean, okay, sure. You can have some of our cake, I guess. Uh, drop off permission slips, we can do that. And we're going to scold the dog for being a piggy. Because, you know, he happened to just go pee in the house. And that is not something that we do in this house. Um, Harper now works at the hospital, apparently. One of the kids is getting in trouble. Alright. Can you mop up this puddle so that we don't have pee in the house? You can go ahead and drop off your permission slips. You can't research the supermarket yet. Um. Is it like a time thing? Is that why? 
Okay. Well, it'll pop up whenever she can. Uh, you're not teaching her to drive. We can lock in brushing Loxy, though. And we're going to go ahead and actually bathe Loxy really quick. Because I don't remember the last time I did that. Uh, you're not enrolling her in boarding school. Not happening. Okay, so she can go ahead and research her story when she is done school. And Xena needs to go ahead and clean up her dish, but she also needs a makeover. So, I'll get there. Maybe not yet, but she'll get there. Alright, so the boys are on their way home from school. Um, you should be bathing the doggo. How long have I been filming? 11 minutes, okay. I just don't want to, like, run out of time. Uh, you can go ahead and use the toilet for me. I don't know what she's doing. But okay, so the boys are home from school. They brought over a friend by the looks of it. And we're going to promise that field trip. I don't know who this guy is, but he's here to do his homework. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and... Both the boys are actually on honor roll as well, so we're going to go ahead and age them up today as well. And then that's two less sims in the house because they're aging up into young adults, which is crazy. I feel like we're going this so fast. Like, just this episode. Like, that's Harper. Zena's aged stuff. She's not moving out, though. But Harper, James, and Jordan all moved out in this part. So we went from having six kids to it's going to be, like, three. Like, that's crazy. But, okay. So, uh, Jordan aged up, so he loves the heat, disciplined, angler, irresistible, and unlucky. Kind of sucks that he got the unlucky treat, but. And then we're going to go ahead and age up James here really quick as well. We'll trigger his age transition. Um, I think that Mr. Jordan looks a lot like his brother Waylon. If you guys can remember him. He's in the family tree that's linked down below. If you guys want to check that out. But I, think, I don't know. I feel like they look very similar. But okay. So now it's James's turn. See what he ages up with. And he got in trouble. So now he's got that mood lit. I'm not sure if that'll go away though when he ages up. But we shall see. Um, we're going to turn off the TV. <laughs> he views like right in his face. <laughs> Okay, so we get to choose James's trait as well, so clumsy, neurotic, artistic, adventurous, and shy. And the girls are doing the after-school things. Um, okay, so Mary's on her way home. Oh, and they get to age up today as well, I forgot. So we literally age up everybody. But we did some makeovers off camera, so I'll go ahead and start over here. So this is James. Um, he's a very attractive sim, if I do say so myself. Um, him and his brother have some resemblance, but here's James. And I think he's, like, super cute. I don't know. He's got blue eyes and the brown hair from Mallory, I think it's the hair color that he's got. And then over here we have Jordan. Who has outfits a little bit more simple. But they both have facial hair. So as you can see, he kind of looks a lot like his brother Waylon. And then we have Xena over here, who I took on a more edgy kind of style. She's got the blue winged eyeliner and the black lipstick and a ripped t-shirt. But here she is. I absolutely love her. And then I just gave her pigtails. And then there's this dude over here. I think his name is Teddy. <laughs> but... So there is Miss Xena, and then her outfit is a ripped t-shirt, some Converse, and some light blue jeans. And then there's my little Miss Avia. But okay, so we can go ahead and age, uh, age, move out the boys now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I keep forgetting that they don't have jobs. Do they? I don't think so. Yeah, no. And they save they don't have any jobs. All right. Um, because in my last one they had, they were in the, I think it was the 
part-time military. So we're going to go ahead and move out these two as well. And then we're just down to three, which is absolutely crazy. I'm going to get Zena to go ahead and talk to Teddy just while we're moving them out because, I don't know, he's standing there. Why not? So we'll go ahead and move out James and Jordan. It'd be kind of cool if they all, like, lived together, like James, Jordan, and Harper. I mean, I don't know if the game would do that, necessarily, but it'd be kind of cool. I don't know if they're actually going to be able to have a house in the town, to be honest, because it's completely full. Unless they want to, like, merge in with somebody else. But, alright, so, we have now moved out the boys. Um... I had Teddy and Zena become friends, and then we're going to go ahead and age up Mary. Didn't I just age them up in the last part? How did the grade go up so fast? Huh. I don't know if maybe that was a game glitch, but I'm just going to take it because it does say that they're on honor roll. I don't know. That's really weird. But okay, so we're going to go ahead and age up Miss Mary over here. Oh, she wants to kiss Teddy for the first time. Maybe I'll get them to like go to prom together if that comes up. But okay, so we'll go ahead and age up Mary. So we get to choose her trait. So she is no sense of humor, light sleeper, friendly, and a vehicle enthusiast. She low-key looks like a maid right now. Or like a sailor. I'm not entirely sure. But okay, so she's aged up. And then the game's got to register that. And then we can go ahead and age up those as well. And... Okay. I'm not really sure what Mary's outfit or hair choice is. But it's there. But okay, so now it's Rose's turn. And then we're probably just going to send them all off to bed because they're exhausted. So I'm going to let Xena go because she's like full on falling asleep. Um, I don't know why it didn't count for Xena aging up. That's weird. But okay, so now Miss Rose has aged up. So she is slob, brave, easily impressed, and equestrian. Why do I have so many equestrian sims? Alright, so we're going to get Teddy to go ahead and leave. You can't get married, honey. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and send everybody off to bed. Um, I do need to give these two makeovers, of course. So, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to get them to actually go ahead and grab some food as well. Um... And then we'll go ahead and send them up here to bed. Uh, go to sleep. You need to take a shower. And then you can go to sleep. Okay. So, we're going to let these two go ahead and eat. Um, Roxy needs some help. Alright, so I just skipped. I did give the girls some makeovers. So, first off, we have Rose over here who's heading upstairs to go ahead and take a shower. Uh, super cute outfit. I really like it. Um, you can kind of see her face. She looks sort of similar to Layla, if you guys remember who she is. So, there is Miss Rose over here. But I don't know. I think she looks a lot like Layla. And then we have Mary over here. Who also has the kind of like overall thing going on. Um, I'll zoom in on her. There she is. She's got like a lot of like eye makeup. But there she is. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did you can go ahead and give, my, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos from me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, if you want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit that little bell and get notified every single time I post since the sub boxes don't work all the time. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.